We just got our package from YCS or your comic shop. I discovered this store via Facebook and they sell really cheap back issues. They usually have a monthly sale and what I got here is two months worth of comic dibs. But first, I have a confession to make. I barely read comics nowadays. I just like buying them for my favorite characters. Just owning a copy and the art. I just love looking at each panel, especially if it was drawn by my favorite artists. I'm a sucker for first issues, one shots, double sized issues, and gimmick covers. Plus, I have this weird obsession that my toys should have comics or book counterparts. Because one day, I'll be displaying my toy collection besides the books and comics. So let's check some new, but actually old comics because they're back issues. First, we have Aliens and Predator, the deadliest of the species number one. I have a copy of this, but I want a nicer looking copy. I like the art here, especially here at the end where Jackson Grease drew this wonderful looking Predator. Next, we have Predator, The Bloody Sands of Time, number one. This is written by Dan Barry, with art by Dan Barry on pencils and Chris Warner on inks. What really surprised me on this comics is that there's no for mature readers only warning. But inside, we'll see some sex and nudity happening on the pages. Uh, it usually happens on a lot of Dark Horse comics. Uh, see here, there's woman tits. Next, we have X-Men number 2, Curse of the Mutants with an amazing cover by Adi Granov. Uh, I like Blade and I buy a lot of Blade related comics. And I also like the art of Paco Medina, especially here. Look at this beautiful rendition of Blade. Really, really good interior pages on this one. Next is WMD number one, or Weapons of Mutant Destruction. I'm not a Hulk fan, but the reason why I picked up this comics is because it's a first issue. And also, it's drawn by an artist I like, Mahmoud Aswar. I like his work on Conan and X-Men. And I thought that, hey, since this is cheap, why not pick it up? Next, we have Inhumans vs. X-Men number 1. Written by Charles Soule and Jeff Lemire. With art by Laniel Francis Yu. This is a beautiful cardstock cover with some spot lamination. And inside, there's actually another cover. Uh, if you flip this like this, you see that the back and inside cover uh, is an interconnecting scene. Uh, I'm not a fan of the Inhumans and the X-Men, but this is a first issue. And it's priced at 100 pesos or $2. And like I said, I'm a sucker for issue number ones and double sized issues. So this one's a must for me. Oh, look, a gatefold stuff. Fantastic art, of course, by Lanil Yu. Next, we have Punisher Nightmare number one. I am a big Punisher fan and whenever a comic series of him comes out, I make sure that I at least pick up the first issue. What I really like here is the fantastic art of Mark Texera. He draws a really, really gritty looking Punisher. I'm not sure about the story because I'm not planning to complete this. Now here's a comic series that I'm actually planning to complete and read. Punisher Kill Crew, number two. I already have the first issue, and I also have this Marvel Legends figure whose look is based uh, from this comic series. The events here in Punisher Kill Crew 
happened after Marvel's big crossover event, uh, The War of Realms. And this one's written by Jerry Dugan with great art by Juan Ferreira. Uh, Punisher usually has not so good art, but I'm glad that they had Juan Ferreira uh, do the pencils in this one. And here we have Death. The Time of Your Life, number one. I actually have the trade paperback of Death, The High Cost of Living that also contains The Time of Your Life and the wonderful Death Gallery that I had to pick this up because it's the first issue and it's also cheap. And I also like Chris Bacallo's art. Here, uh, his art isn't that super duper cartoony yet uh, like he does nowadays there was a point in time where Chris Bacala's art is less cartoony and the art here in the second death series is somewhat a middle ground between his cartoony style and his former style when he was doing Shade the Changing Man and next we have Doom Patrol from DC's Young Animal imprint, which I think replaced the DC Vertigo line. There's a gimmick in this font cover where you can peel the burrito off and reveal something underneath. This comic book is written by Chemical Romance, Jared Way, with art by Nick Darrington. I like, super, super duper like the art here. Uh, it's so clean. Yeah. and there's this panels where Nick Darrington uses a different art style sort of like a colored pencil and his line work is just solid I like his art and next we have Marvel Universe versus the Punisher number two originally I have no plans of picking this up because I don't have the first issue but because the interior art here is done by one of my favorite Punisher artists, Goran Parlov, I told myself that I had to pick this up and just cross my fingers. Hopefully, I find some more back issues so I can complete this series. And next, we have Dancer number one from Image Comics. This is written by Nathan Edmondson with art by Nick Klein. I actually picked this up because I'm familiar with Nick Klein, whose art I enjoyed uh, on Scotty Young's Deadpool and his work on Thor with Donny Cates. His artwork here reminds me of Alex Malley's art during his run on Daredevil and also a bit of Greg Smallwood. This is actually one of those $1 comics that I wish Netflix or someone would pick up and turn into a TV series or at least a movie. And last but not the least, we have Aliens vs. Predator Duel, issues number one and issue number two. I had to pick both up because these are interconnecting covers. And they really look great together. I'm a fan of the Predator franchise and that also includes the comic books. I like Predators more than Aliens but the two have crossed paths a lot of times and they had a lot of crossovers and comic books together and I simply had to pick this up. Fun fact is I had this before but I had to sell it because I am low on cash. But when I found it again on YCS selling page, I just had to pick this up. I like the art of Xavier Saltaras here. I like the way that he draws predators. But until now, I have no idea what the story is because I haven't read it even when I had it before. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll. I'll be posting my new comic hauls whenever I get one. Please don't forget to hit that like, 
subscribe button and see you on our next video.